Hi, this is Matt with Fully Silent PCs. Last time I looked at the assembly process of the HDplex H3 fanless PC case. This time, I am testing the CPU cooling capacity of the H3 case, and modifying it to potentially increase the cooling capacity of the case. The components used to test this case included the ASRock H370M Pro 4 motherboard, and the Intel i5-9400 processor. My test procedure included running Prime95's small FFT's torture test for half an hour after adjusting CPU power limits to four different levels, 35, 45, 55, and 65 watts. CPU usage and core temperatures were recorded by Hardware Info. Core temperatures were averaged for every minute, and the ambient room temperature subtracted. Here are the results for the stock H3 assembly. 33 degrees, 42 degrees, 48 degrees, and 56 degrees Celsius above ambient after half an hour at each power level. The HDplex H3 case has heat sinks on both sides of the case, although the heat pipes are designed to be connected to only one of these heat sinks. I wanted to find out if I could improve this case by connecting heat pipes to both heat sinks. To use four of the eight heat pipes for the opposite heat sink, they had to be rebent into a different length. This was extremely difficult to do cleanly. The heat pipes kink very easily, and one of them broke while being straightened. This gave me a unique look at the inside of a heat pipe. There is a thick layer of sintered copper and not enough water to even notice any. Luckily, I had some extra heat pipes that I was able to replace this one with. They were reshaped with only a ruler and a small pipe bender. The reshaped heat pipes were reinstalled in the H3 case and connected to the opposite heat sink. After reconfiguring the heat pipes, here are the results. 29 degrees, 37 degrees, 44 degrees, and 50 degrees Celsius above ambient after half an hour at each power level. Let's compare this side by side with the stock configuration in one final graph. Trend lines were added to estimate maximum sustainable power levels. Assuming an ambient temperature of 25 degrees C and maximum core temperatures of 100 degrees, the stock limit was estimated to be about 90 watts. With the modified heat pipes connected to both sides of the case, the estimated limit was about 100 watts for the i5 processor. It's a small but not insignificant difference. For 5 degrees lower temperatures, or for 10 extra watts, using both sides of the H3 case might be worth pursuing. Either way, the case does a great job. Subscribe for more fanless PC content, and click on one of these videos to see test results from a different fully silent PC.